Hey there and welcome to the problem of the day only code for May 29th. It's going to be design hash set. It's actually an easy problem, but we're going to try to implement it with a good implementation. And so that'll be more of a medium or a little bit tougher problem. And so let's read it. Let's design a hash set without using any built-in hash table libraries. Implement it. You can add a key. You can see if it contains a key and you can remove a key. And if a key does not exist, do nothing. So we try to add, and let's just look at this example, right? So let's look at what our hash set would look like. Let's just make it on this. So we try to add one. Okay, we put that in. We try to add two. Okay. Contains one. Yes, it does have that, so return true. Contains three. No, it doesn't have that, so return false. Add two. Well, we already have two. Contains two. Return true. We have it. Remove two. Get rid of it. And contains two. No, we don't have it. Okay, so... The way hash set and hash maps work in Python and most languages, I believe, is you just actually have an array. And so you have some array with some number of indices and then you hash. So you, ha you have some kind of hash method that takes a key and, and gets an index in the array of where to put it in, right? So it'll, it'll do some function that'll just be called on the key and it'll find some place to put it in. And so let's think about how would we, we want to actually put this into an array. So we can do a couple things. We can have an array of, so let's say we have these buckets in an array where we're gonna be putting them in because we can have, like if two keys map to the same index, we're gonna actually need to put them into the same place and we're gonna to have to have some data structure there. For example, let's say our hash map is just whatever our number is mod five, right? So let's just say key mod five. Well, when we try to put in five, it'll be zero. And then we try to put in 10, it'll be zero. So they'll map to the same index. And so what we need to do is we need to figure out some kind of hash, some kind of container to hold. We can use a list, but if we have an, if, if we have an array of arrays even, let's say we have like this bucket and we put in five and then we put in 10 and we put in a bunch of stuff. The problem is when we try to get rid of something, we can iterate through with the array, sure, but when we try to get rid of something, we're gonna need to shift the entire list. And so that's gonna be big O of N of operation to get rid of the item. So let's probably not do that, right? Because we don't wanna keep resizing our array and so let's use another data structure here and the way i think it works is actually with buckets and so we're going to have a bucket so in every single index in the array we're actually going to have a node and it's going to be an empty node and then whenever we try to put another item in we're just going to so let's say we try to put in five into this index so we'll have some empty node then we'll just say the pre the next of this node is five and then we'll just do like something like this. So now we can put in items. And then if we want to get rid of something, when we want to get rid of an item in a link list, that's actually big O of one. So that's going to be cheaper. We still do have to traverse, unfortunately, down this. But at least, you know, we can get rid of items and we could have more efficient storage where instead of having some giant array where we're getting rid of items um, slower. And so let's actually take a look of what that, that would look like. So when we do, like, let's say we have a bucket, right? So we have a bucket and the bucket is a linked list. So it's going to be like this. And we have some start node. So we want to, if we want to get rid of some node, we do have to traverse this linked list. So that would be the same as the array. But the nice thing is the actual deletion is faster because we just, we just update the pointer. So a deletion would be technically big O of n still, but it would be slightly faster than there. And then a nice thing is an insertion would be really fast. So for an insertion, let's say we have something, all we can do, like this is at some index in the array, all we have to do is just add a new node right over here. We can just keep, we can just put a new node at the front. So insertion is going to be big O of one, deletion is going to be big O of n. And yeah, actually, no, actually insertion would still be big O of N technically because you do have to look through the list to find out if it's there, right? You have to have some function to find out if it's there. Okay. And so so that's what we're going to have to do. But but it is faster than an array. If, I think if you want to make the most efficient um, or just a more efficient hash map method, we're not going to code this up because that would probably be a hard problem, is instead of a linked list, we can use a even better data structure, like a binary tree or a tree where we're cutting your elements in half every time we traverse, and that would be log n traversal, but then we'd have to code up an entire binary tree, remove, delete, and that's just too much for this problem. 
So instead, we're going to be using a linked list. And so for every index in the in the array, we're going to have we're going to have a node, right? It's just going to be some dummy node. And then when we are putting in elements, we're going to be putting them in right after the dummy node. So if we have some node, we're going to put it right here and so on. And then when we delete, we have to look through our bucket and we have to see if we can delete it. So what we need to do is we need to code up a node class, which is pretty straightforward. There's a bunch of node classes. Then we need to code up a bucket class, which has nodes and all the bucket methods. And then we're simply going to have an array of whatever number indices you want your set to be. The more indices you have, the more buckets you have, the less collisions you have, but then also you're storing more. So there's, there is some trade-offs there for sure. Okay. So let's code up a node, let's code up a bucket, and then we'll code up the actual set. Okay. So first we need to code up the node. So class node, and then that's going to be pretty straightforward. There's a bunch of um, node classes and a bunch of these problems. So. So we need a value and a next, right? So next t. Let's make the let's give them some defaults too. So let's make that equal zero. Let's make this equal none. Okay. Now we just do self dot value equals self, self dot next equals none or next. Okay. So that's all for that node. We don't really need to do anything else. Now let's cut up a bucket, and so. Our bucket is going to be, well, what are we going to take for the bucket? Well, initially it's actually going to be, um, initially we're not going to pass in anything. So that'll be that. And what we do need to have some parameters, right? So we need to have self dot dummy equals node. And that's just going to be a dummy node. Now, what methods do we want to have in our bucket? Well, we need to check if something is in our bucket. So let's just call that def in bucket maybe so and so we start at the dummy node and then we say while cur sorry we do need to check one other thing um yeah so we do need to check if the key is in the hash set already right yeah so so this is going to be key while cur and if val equals key, then it exists, right? Yeah. So then we return true, and then otherwise we just go cur equals cur dot next, and return false when we didn't find anything. So that's in bucket. Now we also need insert and delete, right? So def insert self we are have a key here as well. So first we need to check if it's in the bucket, right? So if in bucket, so it's self uh, in bucket key, then we don't need to do anything. We just return, right? Because it's already in there. So we don't need to insert anything. Okay. Contains. Uh, and we can even say just, so let's just say this return. Hmm, how do we want to do this actually? I think what we want to do is, yeah, so if contains is going to be the, okay, I think they're done. Okay, so we just return here. We don't need to say, we're always going to have a successful insertion technically, so that's whatever. Now, what we need to do is we need to actually insert. So that's going to be the same kind of thing. Or actually, well, no, 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 sorry. So what we're going to actually do is we can insert right away, right? So dummy, not dummy, uh, this is just like node maybe. Uh, we want to not so it's just a new node equals self dot node. Now our value is going to be key, and our next is going to be self dot dummy dot next. Because like I said, we're going to be so if we have some dummy node and whatever, let's say we just have a bunch of nodes. This is the dummy node. We're going to be inserting right over here. And so the next node of the node we're going to be inserting is going to be dummy.next, and then dummy is going to point to the node. So we're going to insert right at the front. That's the easiest way to do it. Okay. And so this is going to be self.node key dummy.next. Now self.dummy.next is going to be this new node, right? So self.new node. Okay, that's going to be the insert. Now we need to delete. 
right, from the bucket. And so what do we want to do with the lead? Well, if it's already in there, we can just return, or sorry, if it's not in there, we can just return, right? So, that, so we do need to check this in bucket again. So if not in bucket key returned, else we need to delete. So we need to go through this entire thing, find it and delete it, right? And so here's how what we're gonna do. So we actually need a cur equals self dot dummy. We also need a previous node and let me show you why. So actually no, so in cur is not gonna be self dot dummy. Cur is gonna be self dot dummy not next. And then previous is going to be self.dummy. And let me kind of just go over that once I read up the code. So while cur, that's fine. If cur.val equals key, this is where we need to be doing the deletion. So then this is just going to be uh, prev.next equals cur.next. And that's the only line we actually need, I believe. So then we just return, and I think we're done. We can return here. Otherwise, cur equals cur.next. Okay, and so let's kind of show you what that looks like. So let's say we have some nodes. Okay, that's enough nodes. So let's say this is our dummy node. And then we have some values, right? So let's just say one, three, five. And we're trying to delete three. So first we check if it exists. If it does exist, then we're going to make previous this. We're going to make her this. Now we're going to keep updating them until, oh, by the way, I forgot one thing actually. Uh, so this is cur.next and then this is also create equals. So I actually technically do this. Okay. There we go. Uh, yeah. Okay. So while the current value isn't what we need to delete, we're just going to be moving them forward one. So this is one, it's not three. So we move them forward one. So cur is going to be over here. Previous is going to be over here delete this. Now we say, okay, that is what we want to delete. So now what are, what are, whenever we are at the node we want to delete, we just simply make this node's pointer point over here. And if you think about it, now if we get rid of this, this points to here, but we're never going to get to this value. So that's essentially delete. All you need to do is just, you need to make the previous, you need to make the parent of the previous pointer point to the next one. So that's all we need to do for that one. Uh, yeah. So we have a delete, we have an insert, we have an in bucket. I think that's all we need. So now let's actually make this hash set of buckets. And they do recommend using a prime number. I think they in the in this editorial they recommended using a prime number. I don't think it actually matters um, when you do a mod operation. Like I don't think it'll matter, but I think it matters when you do when you have some other kind of hash set. You want it, you want to try to have a well, it actually depends what numbers you use, but you want to try to have some kind of hashing function. And obviously Python's going to have a more fancy hashing function that it minimizes collisions. But also there's a bunch of stuff in here that we're not really coding. Like a normal hash set would actually start off small. And then once, let's say more than half of the elements are filled up, it would actually relocate those elements and create more space. But we're not doing that. That would be way too complicated for this problem. So let's just say, let's just make some size of uh, like a thousand. Let's see how many... So yeah, let's just say a, a thousand so self dot. And remember the hash set, we're going to code this up into an array. So let's just say we'll call this items or something or buckets maybe equals. So we're going to make a bucket every time, right? Times a thousand. And I think that should work. Um, as far as I think that's all we need for the, uh, for the initialization, we just have these buckets. So now what we need to do is we are trying to add a key into a location. We could also make another method called like self.hash, but I don't think that needs to happen because we can just do that on the fly. So when we try to add a key, uh, we need to insert it. So that's going to be pretty straightforward. So that's just going to be, and I don't think we need to return anything, right? Yeah, we don't. Okay, so we just need to do self.buckets, then this is going to be the index, so key. And then let's say our hash method is just modding it by a thousand. It's pretty straightforward modding. So like if you have one, it'll be one. If you have two, it'll be two and so on. And then if you have, you know, a thousand and one, it'll go into slot one and so on. And so that's going to, that's going to be our hashing method. So self.buckets, that's going to be the bucket. Now, remember we need to do what do we need to do? We're doing insert, right? So dot insert key. 
So let's just test, or let's, act, well, we can code up the rest of it actually. Now, okay, so that's just an insert. We're just doing a simple insert. Now remove, removes the value. If the key doesn't exist, do nothing. And it's a none. Okay, so same thing, self dot buckets key modded by a thousand dot. So that's just the delete operation in the bucket key. Now contains is going to be the thing that's going to return. So it's going to check if it is true or not. So self dot buckets key. And because we made, rewrote all these other classes, the code in this actual my hash set is pretty straightforward. So this is going to be a little bit better. I think time and space complexity, it'll be the same as an array, but technically it should run faster because while the lookup is big O of N, our delete is going to be like when we're actually getting rid of the element, it's going to be big O one. But if you do want something like actually significantly more efficient, then you would want to have like a binary tree or something where the lookups are even faster than linear time. Okay. So self dot buckets key mod. Uh, and also, by the way, if you actually want to do that really easy problem, instead of these linked lists and buckets, you can literally just have an array of uh, an array of arrays, and you can just go through it. I, if you actually look at one of the problems in my um in my easy speed run, I actually did design a design a hash map, and that's pretty much like that, except I use an array just to make it really fast. Okay, so now this is the same. Now contains. What does that mean? Well, it's just this. It's just this in bucket, right? So dot in bucket key, and then we just return. We're just saying, we just go to the right bucket and we say, is the key in there? If it is, sure. Okay, now let's take a look. Okay, let's see here. Oh, this, this is not obviously not none, this is node. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I might have screwed up a lot of these. This is all NXT. NXT, 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 NXT. Um, dude, hopefully we don't have any more next, but we'll find out. Let's see here. Okay, so this is not self.node, this is just node. Uh, and why did I do self.new node? I don't think this needs to be a self. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I don't like that. Okay. Ah, uh, this is self. This is self. Okay, and let's try to submit this thing now. So let's see. Back to. <laughs> okay. So that looks fine. Um, yeah, and let's think about the time and space complexity here. So time. So our insert and delete would actually be O of N technically. So, well, they wouldn't be O of N. They would be more like, uh, so let's say we have a thousand here. And what's the max number we can have? So key 10 to the sixth. So it would really be more like the the most, well, let's just say they're evenly distributed, right? So if it's 10 to the six, let's say a thousand go into every single bucket. Worst case, oh, I guess actually let's just do worst case. So yeah, worst case, every single number would have the same exact key, right? So we put in like one, thousand and one, two thousand one, so on. In which case that would be like O of N, right? If every single key went into the bucket, so that would be O of N for the insert and for the delete. But then a normal case would be more like O of N over a thousand or something if they're if they're equally distributed. But yeah, so basically the set you are what you, the trade-offs you're making is the more buckets you have, the faster the inserts and the lookups, but the more space you have. So yeah, so I think time is O of N where and is the number of items or number of keys worst case because they can technically all hash to the same thing, I think, if you wanted to. Uh, anyway, and then the, and then, yeah, so these are, but they, they would still be like constant time, or not constant time, they would be linear time. Okay, and then, yeah, if you wanted to have a binary tree, I'm not going to code that up, but if you wanted to have a binary tree, then it would be log n 
instead of using this um this node thing you would so you'd have a binary tree and then i can show you really quick what that would look like where let's say we have like every single bucket would be a binary tree let's say this is like two one five and so on um on average if it's if it's a kind of sorted if it's a like a height index binary tree you know where it's not just like this if it's reasonably well um you know structured then this would be login to search for a number instead of linear time but in our case it's n and then yeah if you have an array it would also be n so this would be n and space so we have uh, an array of a thousand buckets and each bucket can be up to whatever like i said this can technically be n so it would be like if every like the bucket would get increased depending on how many items you put into it and so um let's say once again you put everything into the same bucket then that bucket would be n but either way really if you think about it because uh we just put list nodes into the array the max number of list nodes you can really have is n or nodes so even if all the nodes were in the same like if you had an array some indices and nothing had like they all have a dummy node so that's just one but even if all all even if all the items we're inserting are all in one at the same index the max this can be is n where n is whatever number of items we can put in so the space complexity should still be o of n okay so that's it for this problem and yeah definitely if you want an easy solution here instead of using nodes and buckets just have an array of arrays it's pretty straightforward same thing you can use some simple mod and then all you'd have to do is you just figure out what index you go, and then you just go through that array, and you can check my easy speedrun for that. It's a pretty straightforward problem. You can cut up in 10 minutes if you want to use solution. Okay, so that's it for this problem. And if you liked it, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.